This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 593 Tuesdays. We've been talking professional wrestling and, uh, and, and celebrating the world of professional wrestling with the crew here. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, your master of so- ceremonies for the night. Here in uh, Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, with all the interesting people walking by our window as we've been commenting on here on the stream but also with me is is the crew first of all uh coming from Pooh, kipsy new york he is the only mayhemer to be future endeavored by the wwe he is mad fucking mike sorg you threw the f word <laughs> well in my you know we, we had the question about know. swearing i just wanted to set the bar whoa sorg i I'm taken aback. <laughs> I'm taken oh, aback. Oh, are you I, are I, you I, all I, a flutter? Ooh, I I have the vapors, Sorgatron. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm Mad Mike. Hi, here to talk some wrestle. That's that's Rassle right. Talk. That's right. Also with uh, with us tonight is Mutilator Larry. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. The enthusiastic <laughs> Mutilator Larry <laughs> is with us. And jeez, you're like. Like you're 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 ready. I I feel like you should be by a fireplace and have a pipe. Like like and a cat and a cat. But Chad's wearing but Chad it. Chad is we- Chad the Enzo is wearing it <laughs> because there is a new champion in town once again. Mm. We'll be talking about that a good bit. Oh look at that! Look at he's got he, he's 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 morphing more and more doing? Enzo every week. Look at that that leper print. Is it? Did you just one? Did you already own that, or did you purchase it for this show? I already own this. <laughs> I already own it. And have you worn it since high school? Maybe two or three times. Maybe two or three times. There you go. Hey, I but the... our champion is back. Our champion is back. And also with, uh, speaking of champion, former multiple-time IWC tag team champion, old school friend of the show, old <laughs> back with us after all these years, Marshall Gambino is joining us here, uh, fresh off of punching people in the face at wrestling shows. I'm not necessarily here to talk wrestling, but I'll probably tell somebody to go fuck themselves before the end of the show. There, that yeah. seems about right. That seems about right. I think we got a good pairing on the couch with you over there. <laughs> <laughs> we we have a long history yeah, of yeah. the telling Gambinos to move things. That's that is right. true. That <laughs> is true. <laughs> I have that picture too. So. <laughs> I saw that floating around the internet a couple a couple months ago too. I was like, I remember those days when we were I, made I gestures. Think I still have my Gambino Brothers Moving Company hat somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. I know, I do. Yeah. I, it's the warmest now, hat that, that was, I. That was the first piece of merch I've ever purchased at an indie show. That's awesome. That, that was the first piece of merch. That's awesome. Also, your first indie show was probably IWC here in Pittsburgh and not in New York. Uh, that depends do you count tna no mm. <laughs> not on a lot of levels no right but anyways <laughs> this is the wrestling mayhem show you can check us out at wrestling mayhem show.com you can drop us a line to that email address good times good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or for was, was, was mike the only one what the hell um anyways uh you can also drop us a line at 412 ms0 am i in the right doc i feel like i'm not in the right doc Oh, there's all the information. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes or Apple, Apple Podcasts, as I was uh, told they rebranded. Um, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music Podcasts, as well as uh, video versions on the YouTube and the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And, of course, the live stream is here every Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We start streaming something, whether that's wrestling talk or not. Or maybe it's just an image of him wearing that hair over there. Whoop, nope, there he is. You're on, like, every media. Can I get you on, like, xhamster.com? Xhamster? You, you, porn, <laughs> you porn, I mean, we, shit, you're everywhere. So. We should just try <laughs> uploading the show there and see if it just takes, right? I mean, at this point. See what happens. I would be scared should, to see what category it's We should do the show on chat roulette. 
<laughs> Did you guys see? Is that still around? Do yeah, we just sure. broadcast, right? We should just like you know, it, it comes up during the show. Um, hey, well, there is that AI like matching things. I wonder what porn they would classify us under. Uh, but anyways, especially with that look. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe the super hentai last week could be a little more core. So soft. Anyways, how you doing? Hey, 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 Chad Enzo, how do you like your porn? S A W F T. Soft. And you can also. <laughs> but anyways, we're live here Tuesday nights on Facebook Live, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, and also on our uh, YouTube, uh, Sorgatron Media, Twitch TV, and our Periscope even for at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Thank you to our streaming partner, the partner, the 405media.com, who is carrying us still for some reason every single night at 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern time. And uh, and also carrying our, our partner podcast, the Awesome Cast, over there as well. Also, a big shout out to Patreon friend and uh, friend of the Mayhem in general, Alex Cars of Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, he is an awesome web guy and also a great shirt designer. Um, of course, you know with all the pink ropes and everything, this is uh, National uh, Breast, Breast Cancer uh, uh, Month. And uh, he is going to be donating all benefits from merch sales at Occupy Pro Wrestling Store to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, you can find all that stuff over at OccupyProWrestling.com. So, uh, and also, hey, thanks to our Patreon supporters who are literally helping us keep the lights on here. Of course, our friends and the fans of the show at the dollar level, the longest running Patreon supporter, Bo Diggity! Woo! Our friend Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, and at the Pocky Club $5 level, those guys get the Mayhem Show Gold Extra content. Uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Tina Keys, and Christopher Bishop. And at the $10 Pizza Club, gets the state of the show level, uh, is Billy F. N. Johnson supporting the show. And also, we do have the uh, $20 manager level for those interested. Um, you can be you can even more say with what goes on with the Mayhem Show. And uh, you also will get a, a more listed in the show notes as well as an exclusive digital download from our partner partner at IndieWrestling.us. That's a, that'd be that would be one extra uh, digital download every month for that sweet in the pod. So uh, support the show over at Patreon.com/slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, and thank you everybody who has been supporting the show through that. So uh, let's get into <laughs> let's get into the uh, I, you know I joked. I joked last week about um, TLC um, seemingly becoming. I almost think we should talk about your thing first because you're the most. Come on, you okay? You're the most visually, in, you know, kind of excited person here. The champion of champions. The champion is back. of champions. You know, forget Kurt Angle. Forget the Shield reunion not no. having. For, forget viral meningitis. Old news. <laughs> Lame. Fugazi. The real champ has his belt back. Chad, 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 bringing creativity back. I was so happy, not for Enzo, not for the state of the cruiserweight division, but just because I knew this was coming back this week. Rising tide rises all ships. Right. Uh, How are you doing? I, How I, I, are I'm you? Going the, I'm, yeah, I'm going I, to be the Drew Gulak to Chad Enzo. And I will be the voice of the now temporarily voiceless cruiserweight champion. How is it? <laughs> he the, the the his main feature is 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 his mic skills, and then he loses his voice <laughs> winning the belt. Yeah, well, the winning the belt takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Absolutely. How um, you doing, well, uh, Mike? We talked a little bit about the cruiserweights last night. Um, I, I, I wait, wait, wait. Actually, we need to bring up because well, he's he's watching two hundred five live right now, Larry. Yes, you, sir. I I discovered your hate. For Kalisto, I'm we were sick we him. were talking on text last night about this. <laughs> what, what is your problem with Kalisto? He's so smiley. For somebody who just got <laughs> cheated out of a championship, he should not be this happy. And you're talking about just cheated. I don't know what show you're okay, watching. Okay, fine. Lost his championship. He should not be that happy. Much better. I don't know. He has a he had a fresh chance to reinvent himself and. He's still that smiley underdog, flippy guy that's losing to people that are his size now, as opposed to 
Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. He's not getting dumped in, <laughs> thrown, in, thrown in dumpsters you know? or anything, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm done with him. Yeah. So <laughs> I am happy that Enzo is back with his lady. There you go. Uh, what uh, we have, do we, have we got over here? <laughs> Sorg, we have a question in the chat room. Uh, so Cena had the spinner belt for the US title. Oh, God. What should Enzo do with the Cruiserweight t- Championship? Uh, leopard print leather uh <laughs> he should he should wrap it around a bucket of chicken with a hole in the bottom mm. yeah <laughs> acceptable yeah hey where's your bucket of chicken he has a penchant for georgia gold sweet georgia <laughs> you, you, gold aren't, aren't you glad you came on this show oh fuck man <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah we're gonna need you to stop by kfc on the way out here if we're gonna just, keep doing this <sighs> Hey, as long as he's champion, you'll know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I I got let I got leopard now, leopard print. He's he's gonna Chad's gonna come out next week with someone three and a half feet taller than him, and they're just gonna stand silently and repeat what he says. <laughs> big big cast. <laughs> if if he if he loses the belt again and then wins it again, I'll just add another ensemble to my to my <laughs> attire. I can't wait for him to become the five-time cruiserweight champion <laughs> I, just for I will this. Look ridiculous! Five, five-time cruiserweight champion gets a poop emoji on his butt. <laughs> if he becomes a we'll five-time cruiserweight happens. champion, Chad needs to do a spinning rooney with the Enzo wig on. I've been practicing my struts, Marshall. I don't know how much you're watching 205 Live these days, no, but <laughs> this is Enzo is the only thing that has brought me pure joy. Over the last hey, few weeks, hey. you have not been watching Drew Gulak's power. No, I, I, that's, I mean, it's good, and wrestling is, is okay. But Enzo just shitting on the entire cruiserweight division, just, I don't know, just really did it for me. Set my toes a tap, and I was, yeah, I can get behind Enzo now. I, I don't know, his heel turn just was fresh for me. It's a beautiful You're clearly trainer. not as much of a PowerPoint enthusiast <laughs> as the rest of us. I, it's like no, NASCAR. I, yeah. Not a Microsoft <laughs> PowerPoint enthusiast. It's one of those ones that catches on fire and makes everyone in the crowd smile. If anything, he saved it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, interesting. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I don't know. It, I don't fast forward to that segment <laughs> anymore. See? Yeah. There you go. It's not just like random uh, six man tag match, right? Yeah. Coming from a man who said he takes 20 minutes to watch Raw, that's pretty good. That's it. <laughs> You're making him stop. Like, yeah. Uh, well, hey, five minutes is Enzo. Got to watch this. <laughs> there you go. WCW, that division will not do. No. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't think it, it definitely doesn't serve the same pur- purpose by any means, but it could be a fuller part of Raw since you've got so much room on that show. And I think it was a little bit last night with the 10-man tag, too. That 10-man tag was shorter than one segment of the six-man tag. Still. (laughs) That's how long it took for the SmackDown uh, crew to get up the elevator. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. It was like, (laughs) extend it, extend it a little further. But uh, anyways... Um, but, but back to TLC. Of course, there was the big, their big change. It it, it changed from uh, WWF Halloween Havoc that I expected it to be to um, a house show, a house show, a, a house show. Oh, here we go. Hey, let's just do random shit. Um, it, it turned. No, it, that that's what it was. Let's do random shit and have the faces win at the end. It turned into Kurt Angle cosplaying as a member of the Shield. So they did have a Halloween a- aspect to it. it, it um. Sorg, it was uh, one of my buddies who I was watching it with said, oh my god, it's like dad dressed like his kids for Halloween. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. Um, looked, I mean, it good was that so because he didn't even do the same pose. He was just no, like, he smiled. Hey, I'm cool too, guys. I'm cool too. This is what the kids are doing these days, right guys? This is, this is hashtag light, right? Did I, did I do the thing? L I T light, right? I don't even know what is, you're referencing. Is it is it, is it lit? Oh. It, it's lit. It's lit. Not Mad, light. It's lit. Mad Mike, when you watch these pay per views, do you watch them with your pants off? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not just curious. Anymore. Just throwing not it out anymore. There. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now Lucha Underground, that's another story. He definitely wears it with his pants off. 
He's Randy. Oh, Marsh. Lucha Underground. I you have to watch just like I I I like have my face three inches from the screen. Like I said, just like Randy yeah. Marsh. <laughs> Cream fresh. Oh, we did get we we okay. So the 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 main event was a little bit of a cluster, and and I know we, <laughs> it was it was a little hilarious. bit of a nightmare. It was, was little... thirty five minutes too long. I mean, the only thing it, it was missing it was yeah, it was a little it bit. It was thirty five. Um, it was like three different matches mushed together. But my favorite part of it is uh, uh, Braun Strowman appears uh, to have ended just like the end of the first Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> Yep, Super Shredder uh, will be back. I can't wait to see way, Super Braun. Way, I mean, he's gonna props, be so pissed. Props to the crowd for chanting that was murder. <laughs> props to the crowd for just chanting that was murder. Hey, like Kane's not running for mayor. Gun Jacobs is. Kane can do whatever he wants. <laughs> that is true. Oh, I wish Kane at least said whoops before he flipped the switch. I feel like, like just or oh, you hear that. Either that or Stephen Amell returns as Casey Jones just to do that. Kane's poll numbers were down a little bit. He needed a little bump. <laughs> so, in Minnesota? Kane, yeah. Kane was just showing that he is foreign. You got to do something He's, outside your state to create. Yeah, know, yeah, a little bit, yeah. bros. Bring it back in. Okay. But did you see. He's uh, for capital punishment. Did you see Dollar Store version of Brooklyn Brawler was the, the, the truck driver? <laughs> he was. <laughs> I think that was actually Steve Lombardi, though. <laughs> for some of that, for some of that, he was just standing. I'm like, who's that dude over there? Like, just what are you guys I think it was doing? Two points. He was awestruck, but he was also worried about not fucking up his cue. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Full of I just see these legs. I'm like, who's that? I think he was there to stop it at the correct moment yeah, more than up. here. Pull you, the lever. it's your job not to kill this large man. You guys um, gonna do this? No pressure. I don't understand it. Braun flipped over an ambulance. Why couldn't he just like? Kicked out the back end of that garbage truck. I, I, I was waiting he, for it. I fully <laughs> yeah. expected him to. Yeah. I fully yeah. expected him to. Like, Ugh. just all of a sudden, everyone hears a rumbling, and it's just like he breaks out, like, literally, like Super Shredder. I'm also sad that we came on on Monday night and said, Braun is, is super injured. He's not going to be back for, like, 6, 8, 12 weeks or super something like injured. that. Versus versus you know pretty much right versus we don't know where braun is we think he's in a in a dump somewhere is that what they said yeah they said he was injured and and that he'll be out for like several oh weeks. really okay like I, that, that's that's seriously what they said okay so but I, I just like the we don't know what happened to braun <laughs> well i mean he's just it's gone not like and, he wandered off like out of the crashed ambulance into the woods. He might need to get tested like they locked, meningitis. They locked him <laughs> in go. a garbage truck. I mean, they there, knew exactly well, there was a the time, was. there was the ambulance where where he did walk off. Yeah, and into just, the woods. And just into the night. But they locked him in the back end of a garbage truck. They maybe, knew exactly where he was. Maybe he's actually patient zero. And they had the... I mean, unless yeah. Kane drove off with the garbage truck, I'm pretty sure they'd Took be able to Tennessee. find him. <laughs> to Tennessee, yeah. <laughs> Another fundraiser. Look at what I found. Bronze for, for, it's Bronze a petting. Be, uh, in charge of the garbage. <laughs> Glenn, <laughs> Glenn Jacobs petting zoo. <laughs> a monster petting zoo. Oh, geez. What I really want to see is I want to see Braun in the uh, in Kane's little smart car there driving around. <laughs> <laughs> he just pokes his legs <laughs> through it. He he roller, he pulls out like a pair of shorts. Roller skates. <laughs> starts he, to be, where's that shirt? He just reenacts shirt? that scene from The Simpsons where it's the very tall man inside the car. And he's like, this was the largest automobile <laughs> I could afford. <laughs> We're missing a lot of opportunities for Braun to be the spokesperson of waste management now. Oh yes, in, in commercials like the the baguette dumpster, he's just <laughs> laying, he's just laying in them. You know? They'll fit two and a half full Braun. Or better yet, yeah, he's guys, carrying like guys, four well, of them. Like he I, carries I think, the grocery bags. I think we're bags. missing the big picture here. Um, Survivor Series, as we know, is a huge spot for returns and debuts. I think this is how we bring back. One of the all-time greats, future Hall of Famer, Duke, the dumpster, Drozzi. <laughs> he should have been driving. The, he should have been driving. He should have been driving. He should have been driving it. I mean, that, that it is a missed opportunity. Like either they just literally do not know where where Duke, Duke the dumpster Drozzi is. Um, fucking weirdo is a beach view, man. The door is locked. <laughs> Matt, Matt Carlin's is locked out of the studio. It's fine. Leave him out there with smart. Just leave him out there. 
<laughs> no, he's gonna get it. Oh, I could go. I could go. Sorry, just, just get a just get a camera on him with his hand on the window, like he's being locked out. Like we could, no. we could. Oh. We could. Oh, no, oh no, where is he going? And, where is he going? And you're down a headset. And then we don't have a headset. Yo, where are you going? Are you going outside with those? Don't go outside dressed like that. That's you're just gonna attract trouble. No blood right in. And yeah, at least you're protected by a window in here. Did you say he's going to contract trouble? No, no, he's not. <laughs> he's not full Enzo. Vi- viral meningitis. <laughs> oh, yes, you're going to you're going to attract uh, viral meningitis. Well, oh. wow, whatever is happening over there, this is a good time to give a shout out to our friend Slice on Frogs dancing up the ramp. Like the March of the Penguins. <laughs> It's a good time to give a shout out to our good friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcast with the perfect pepperoni pizza. And of course, they are down in the final four over on the incline.com's ultimate uh, Pittsburgh pizza competition bracket, uh, taking on uh, Vincent's Pizza House. You're going down, Vincent's! Uh, uh, Sork, just like Sork, everybody Sork. else has. Sork, um, I, I know the final four is very important for the pizza tournament. Yes, it is. Um, and, and I have no doubt that Slice. Will dominate Vincent very easily. I have no doubt about that. I've had slice. It's delicious. It's smart. It's magical. It's fantastic. But I want to say this, Sorg. One of the other ones in the final four is Beto's. Fuck that place. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, jeez. Sorg, you took me there once. I did take you there once. Yes, you did. I have never spit out pizza before <laughs> in my natural <laughs> lifetime. You always swallow. Yes. Okay. Always. Because yes. I'm a gentleman. Because I I'm a you. gentleman. Sorg bottom dinner and Yes. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. I will take that in all of its forms. I don't care. Oh, took it already. Right. better not win. The whole thing. Slice on Broadway is the best pizza in Pittsburgh. We want to thank Slice on Broadway for their last he- ad here on the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> um <laughs> Thank them by placing your foot upon any of the doors of their local <laughs> establishments, kicking them in and demanding no, the perfect. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, the, the all of the doors open out. Like it's not. It's not going to work. You kick I mean, hard enough, it will. You can leave, kind of doing a kick motion. I okay, mean, I so open. kick the door open on your way out. <laughs> it doesn't open. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does open in. It does open in. You could. You could. But please turn the handle first. And, and, and at least t- say, this is pizza. This is pizza. This is That's pizza. What you have to do. Tell them the mayhem show sent you. At least do that, yes. Um, but no, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you to them uh, supporting the show uh, location here right up the street on Broadway in Beachview, as well as Carnegie PA uh, down on Main Street. Uh, PNC Park, home of the P- uh, P- 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 I, oh no! I've lost my piece. Oh no! Sorg popped his piece. Oh, oh no! no, no. The of the Pittsburgh pepperoni <laughs> pizza. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Today, Junior. We should just mimic that commercial with with some slice on Broadway with you. I like just I'll do it. It'll be the most uh, uh, emotional <laughs> pizza commercial ever. What do we got here? Perfect pepperoni <laughs> slice. <laughs> <laughs> and, is this an extra sausage on this pizza? <laughs> Ed Burke is starting shit in the chat. Is he? He's wow, Ed! <laughs> wow. How dare you speak ill? He, he said, "Still, Vincent's Pizza is something special." Oh no, 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 uh, no, 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 no! Vincent's Pizza rides the no, short no, bus. Followed by someone else. Yeah, in, somebody else followed it with "Shut your whore mouth, Ed Burke." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sure. I will not say who that You're part was. of the Mayhem I, family, but <laughs> I wonder who that could have be been. Honest. Let's be honest here. Uh huh. Oh, I'm looking right at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, producer Missy's going rogue. But no, please support our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com <laughs> and on the Incline.com for the uh, ultimate pizza bracket. Uh, anyways, let's get to wrestling talk. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, also, Vincent, let's you're going down. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, everybody tweet that. Uh, but, uh, also, we did have one of the fill-ins, and probably the most show-saving fill-ins um, was uh, AJ Styles and, Bray, and, uh, no, and, and Finn Balor. Because, holy crap. <laughs> it was good. That saved the night, man. It, it did. Oh, it, really yeah, did. It, it was the only thing watchable on the night. Well, not the only thing, but no, it no, was... No. the. It was the most watchable thing on the night. No. No, the Cruiserweight Championship was the most watchable thing. <laughs> it's 
just sets your, uh, sets your, facts, sets your facts straight. Mm-hmm. And even there was there was a good thread. Uh, hold on, let me. Well, you guys go ahead and talk about this one. But there was a good thre- uh, thread by uh, William Regal. I want to bring up too. That I think kind of illustrates a lot of points. On this oh line. yes, I saw but, that. Um, I saw but but, that but I mean, for something that was just kind of out of the blue, you know, or, you know, uh, what AJ Styles came in from an eighteen-hour you know trip from uh, Chile, from Chile, 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 where um, apparently Triple H is twerking with a new day. Uh, so that's um, a yeah. Thing. He followed it up with a pedigree, though. So it's okay. yes, he did. <laughs> Classic trips. Uh, oh, <laughs> can't trips. let anybody else have too much fun. No, 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 absolutely not. Um, but but again, you know, done out of nowhere. And, you know, everybody knows the and they alluded a little bit to, you know, their relationship with the club and everything like that. You know, we did the generic soon. organization that they have both led at some point, but mm-hmm. we can't name. No, they named it. They called it the club. They called it a club. No, the club. No, they called it the club. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I think they did. At yeah. least, at least, like the, on the pre-show. The I think? nondescript they called adjective it that on the here show. Oh. club, or like during the match. Yeah, they mentioned it. Yep. But so, not, so, so it's, it's becoming no. no they they're not going to say bullet club because no. the new Japan they'll, got that they'll get a cease and desist. I thought they said <laughs> yeah. it once though. I think it, 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 like on one of the other shows, not during right, yeah, like, not during they, a broadcast. I think it said on NXT before. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> pass, pass the notes over there. Uh, I just, you know. Hentai. Last Hentai. week's guest was, he's got some. Oh, we do have to ask you about something. Okay. I've, it, I've seen too much of Hentai. And, <laughs> and I, I am not a pro He sent us a picture. He has a couple <laughs> ghosts in his house. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, okay. t- tell Chad to start Perfect. over. Yeah. So we, we were having fun because you, we, while we were doing the show and Hentai <laughs> was hanging out here, we saw your check-ins at the teacups. Yes. <laughs> How was Disney World? It was uh, it was good up until that fucking last day. <laughs> and that's when it was like, oh, we're in martial mode. <laughs> yeah, hashtag fuck Southwest. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Marshall, I, I do have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, we, we were trying to determine this last week. Who is your favorite Disney character? I got that text. Oh! I got that text. Yeah. We had um, a little bit yeah. of everything. I don't know. I mean, I would totally bang Minnie Mouse if I could. Um, That's bestiality, sir. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of like the Headless Horseman. And you can see him. You only see him at the Halloween parties. But, mm. uh, but if it's like the everyday character. I'm pretty fond of Tigger. I know Hentai is too. So. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> it makes sense. But, but, it, but Minnie Mouse yeah. does it for me. She, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I actually, uh, hold on a second. That makes. <laughs> yeah. She's such a whore. <laughs> Let me see. That's gold. Let me see. Hold on. There's your story. <laughs> Hold on a second. Find this is classic <laughs> podcasting right here. Yeah, <laughs> I swear I want to bring this back, back around in a moment, but I kind of want to see where this goes. <laughs> I fucking hate hentai. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I got my picture taken up. Oh, look at <laughs> that. There it is. There it is. Nice. Nice. Anyways, William Regal. Very short. William Regal was tweeting uh, Sunday, I believe. From the teacups. From no, 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 no. Not, William Regal was not on the teacups. <laughs> no, he was. What? The Duchess of Queensbury rules match. Teacups. He was in there. It's all a rich tapestry. Keep going, sir. Listen, are you like in your basement or are you in your attic? I'm in the attic. <laughs> the fucking heat must be getting to you over there. So oh no, sure. I have the AC and a fan going. I'm aces. <laughs> Got your pants on? Yeah, I have pants on. Okay. See Take you. them off. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long oh, night. Late night. Because it's you, Marshall. <laughs> There's apparently an interesting game that Lucha Underground guys play when they watch the show, and, and they try to like assess what he has hanging in the background. <laughs> uh, right now, it's a uh, suit shirt. Yeah. I have yet to put away. <laughs> like, like what? What is Mike planning for the next day? <laughs> Based on what's hanging out there. I also have my uh, my Pittsburgh Penguins back to back championship towel hanging oh, there up. There you go. There you go. Represent. Represent. Anyways, 
Ah, oh, jeez. I don't even know if I care what Regal said anymore. <laughs> I want to know what Regal uh, said. Okay, uh, this is for Larry then. Here, I'll put it on you for this, for reactions. Uh, when wrestlers say, ah, but we had a cold match, no story, and he's talking about the, uh, mostly I think the AJ and, and Finn uh, match. Uh, I always say that, of course, you've got a, a story. You have to beat the person across the ring from you, or you can't, <laughs> what? Keep going. <laughs> or, you can't, or you can't feed yourself. Anything else, uh, you, you got to work with his bonuses. I can't, I can't even do this. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I love it. <laughs> He's telling us how how wrestling works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, either way, good match there in TLC. Well, um, I mean, there, there there was a built-in story with AJ and Finn. It's just a story that not everyone would be privy to if they don't know what the Bullet Club is. Right. Well, also breaking it down, his point was that, and Marshall, maybe you can speak to this more, being the actual wrestler in the room. Um, you know, the, the point is that you tell the story of the match, in the match, and that's all you need to have a good match and, and, and get to the fans, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I've always storytelling, I've always said storytelling is what makes it. I mean, you got their two guys can do all the flips in the world, but if there's not a good story behind them, to me, to me, it don't mean shit. Mm -hmm. you know? But but even but that story can be told just bell to bell with nothing else around it, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I mean, two two good workers, you could take them they never even could have met before, throw them in a ring, tell a good story, and you'd be like, holy shit, you know. Mm -hmm. And that happens. Yeah, cause, oh, well, go ahead, Mike. Uh, no, because like the um the Sami Zayn Nakamura match from last year's. Uh, WrestleMania Takeover. That was the first time those two guys had ever touched. Like, yeah. and they said that in the commentary, and I was like, "That's insane!" Because mm -hmm. those two guys burned the house down. I mean, I get what they, I, I get it. With they needed something to make up for what they lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd probably like to see that match somewhere else. You know, with a little bit more build to it, right? Yeah, but yeah. um, and especially in the Indies when you know seemingly so many matches are just kind of assembled right yeah you know you don't have a lot of opportunity to tell a lot of story going into it. it's like hey we got this guy and this guy right um that story kind of does have to boil down to what happens bell to bell more so yeah i mean too also like you want to see that match when those two are, are like at the top of their game because aj what he flew 13 hours 18 eight, eight, i'm sorry 18 hours mm -hmm. i mean Sorry, I don't care who you are. I mean, AJ's a great dude, but you got to have a little jet lag there. So mm -hmm. you can imagine if, you know, didn't have that jet yeah, plus lag. Plus, those trips are pretty hell when they <laughs> go on them. I know Jericho was talking about some trip to, like, Asia where it was like, yeah, it was a 40-hour trip. And they were in the air, like, 16. Yeah. Something like that. So, and not not a lot of opportunity to even sleep. So, yeah. 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 So. Um, no, it was, it was an interesting thing. And I think, I think overall, it, it, I think it made TLC a little more memorable to begin with. I'd like to see it without the demon gimmick though. Mm -hmm. you know, just, just straight up, straight up. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think because they promised the demon, yeah, they, they kind of had to deliver on it. Like, cause I would, I would like to bet that that wasn't the, um, the actual makeup he was going for. No, like, not. Not if he was gonna be wrestling, on. right? He was gonna be like the orange pumpkin king. Fergalus pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. Fergalus pumpkins. <laughs> yes. Are uh, you um, are you at all sad that we didn't see the great pumpkin, uh, uh, Finn Balor? Oh, we're gonna see it. Yeah, it's still going we're down. We're gonna you see think? it next week. Halloween. Next week's RAW is the night before Halloween. Mm. If everyone is cleared by then, I'd almost guarantee it. It, it's just going to be like a Bray Wyatt, Kane, uh, Finn, uh, you know, House of Horrors night, right? Yeah. I, can we can we talk about the decision to put Kurt, Kurt Angle in the match? Hold on one second. In the main event. Hold on one second. Just going back to the, the Finn Balor and AJ Styles thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it. AJ Styles made a comment. Um, I think it was this morning or last night about how people were like, kind of riding his ass that you know Vince made them do the two sweet. And he said he didn't. Um, it was all just him and Finn, and it was kind of paying um, homage to where it came from. And, like, I know a lot of guys, like, um, me especially, is, like, never forget, like, when wrestlers, don't forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was nice to see that. Like, you know, even all the bullshit with the politics and everything, they still 
you know, remember where they came from and the, and the guys that are still there doing it, which is nice because you don't see that a lot of times, you know, especially nowadays, like, you know, on this level, there's a lot of guys that don't, uh, they don't give a shit. They'll, they'll step on your throat to get to the next level, you know, but it's always nice to you know, always remember mm-hmm. where you came from. So. And, and you were talking a little bit about, like, you, 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 you've known AJ from, you know, time in IWC and everything yeah. over the years. And and he's always had a pretty good vibe with you. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know AJ personally, you know, uh, but every time that we met, like, you know, the last time that I'd seen him, it was probably four or five years in between mm-hmm. that. And, he, you know, he doesn't have to remember who I am. And he, you know, come up, shook my hand, remembered who I was. He remembered I had kids. Like, it's just, it was really cool. Like, out of probably everybody, like, I give – AJ is like I, the most respect. Like I respect him so much, and you know all the success he has, he totally deserves it. But he's just an all-around good dude, you know. So awesome. So um, other than that, uh, hey, we're gonna come back here in a moment here after the break, and we got something to debut here that Marshall brought with him. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're going to bring that up a little bit. Uh, something pretty cool happening this uh, Friday with the International Wrestling Cartel, and we're going to talk about that for a moment. And, of course, please also check out, um, you know, we're going to do an interview with Marshall as well on Indie Mayhem Show in the coming weeks, and or if you're on the stream, stick around for that too. Uh, we'll be back with that and the big question. after. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are back here. We got the whole crew with us. First of all, uh, actually, we got we got a replacement crew with us. Mainstream Matt has tagged himself in. Hot tag. That's right. Larry's still here. You can see his hand in the background a little bit there. There he is. Uh- <laughs> Larry was crawling for the corner. And I was like reaching out like this, and I was like urging the fans, "Come on, hot tag! Come on!" He's, re- he's representing the new, the, the the real news. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, um, hot, hot tip for all the uh, TV viewers out there: fiftieth um, anniversary episode of Sixty Minutes, I think, is uh, coming up on Sunday yeah. on your local CBS affiliate. And please, if if you ever watch um, KDK TV, please watch it. For the entire month of November. Then you can go back to watching whenever you want. But please watch our news for just the next leave, month. Just leave it on. Just, just leave it on in the background. Switch to the big K. Leave, rip off the knob. Leave, and make the world a happier place leave, for I, us I, and our families. I honestly do tend to leave it on for the dog. But yeah. then, then it's I realized. It's soothing for animals. It's well, good for animals. Well, then I, then I started putting it on PBS Kids for him. Because I figure that's a little more uh, better suited for his age bracket. Ken Rice's voice is very soothing for that animals. They've done that studies. That is true. The big they, K's all yeah, I watch. Have? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My girl works there, so I gotta, I gotta talk to her. You know, I support her. That's I right. Will, uh, I will accidentally watch the beginning of sixty minutes, like I do every Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Right after football. Hey, Oprah's on there now, so you know what? The I, big I, O, I, the big O's working for sometimes them. Sometimes yeah. fall asleep during football. And <laughs> exactly, and you go come <laughs> shake yourself out <laughs> of your <laughs> sleep. What the hell happened? Oh, Ooh. it's sixty minutes. So the big O is on the big K. The big O is on the big K on Sunday, fiftieth mm-hmm. anniversary, sixty minutes. I think it's this Sunday. If not, it's coming up soon. Can we get big, your organization to pay for this ad? Because what? I think they're big enough. <laughs> no? no? No, no, no. We take it where we can get it. Okay. I see. It is local news, <laughs> after we got, all. I got kids. I need this <laughs> job. <laughs> Matt, Watch our shows. Matt, Watch our newscasts. Mad Mike's the same way. He takes it any way he can get it. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes, sir. Mad Mike's still I mean, with us from Poughkeepsie. I mean that that's, that's not that's not inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Enzo the Shad. Oh, hey, and Marshall Gambino. Now, Marshall, you brought something special for us tonight. Oh, yeah. So, of well, course, we oh, have over here. we love it when there's belts on the show. Uh, Look at uh, that! Hot off the presses. Oh, oh like you see that bad boy? So there you go. I mean, this is going to be a little more regional for you guys out there, but. Uh, that is the high stakes championship for IWC, and that is uh, debuting officially this this weekend, right? Yeah, re-debuting. Re-debuting. Yes. Uh, give us you know, briefly what is the high stakes and and and, and what what is the historical uh, significance you know of that? What? Uh, the high stakes title was before my time. I think it was two thousand one, two thousand two. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, uh, another title where every match. Has a stipulation to it. Um, 
could be lumberjack, four way tornado, a rumble, ladder match. It doesn't matter as long as there's a stipulation for it. Um, IWC decided to bring it back to uh, as a way to give the mid card guys something to uh, work towards instead of kind of just always being lost in a shuffle, so to speak. So this Friday at the uh, Wheeling Alley Casino, they're gonna crown a new high stakes champion. There you go. So I'll be in that match, and I'll probably slap the shit out of somebody. <laughs> As you do, as you do, um, awesome. So, so I mean, this is, I mean, there, there's a bit, there's a lot of titles in IWC, and uh, you know, there's a super indie, of course, class. Uh, people know uh, lately, make a lot of news with Adam Cole. Uh, you know, the world title. You know, a lot of lot of names we see on Raw today uh, between Elias and and uh, you know Corey Graves, even you know holding holding a lot of these. Um, you know, it, it, where, where does this kind of stand in, in, you know, that kind of landscape for IWC? You know what? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Honestly, it's kind of, I look at it as a, a way to pay homage mm -hmm. to the guys, uh, as you know, Justin Plummer would like to say the old guys, um, you know, it's it shows their history. I'm about, I like the history uh, end of it, you know, bringing it back. And, and let's face it. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are, uh, you know, on the card now that they're might not be ready for a super indie title shot or a heavyweight title shot where this is gives them something to look forward to. And, and I think with the whole added stipulations around it, you know, it just it opens up a whole new realm. I mean, I was having a talk with somebody the other day about it and it, uh, they said, you kind of reminds you of like, uh, ECW-esque kind of, you know, I, I'm not sure it's exactly what we're looking to do with it, but uh, it'll definitely be a different spin on things compared to, you know, normal title matches. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. There you go. What does Chad the Enzo think of that belt? Oh, it's a beautiful belt. Very shiny. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. It's it soft. <laughs> oh, yeah. High-grade leather. Yeah, high, grade <laughs> high grade leather straight from Pakistan. <laughs> the highest of high grade. The highest. <laughs> the highest. Awesome. The, highest. The, the highest of the highest. Yes. The highest of the highest. And of course, you know, that's not the only uh, thing high happened. stakes for nothing. Just oh. the, <laughs> yes. Come to the casino the this high, Friday. The high is baked right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go check out, of course, uh, the debut of that. And, of course, Jerry the King Lawler is going to be in, in attendance and uh, taking on Jackson Argos, the hometown mm. guy. This is what? I just saw that today, earlier today, and I was, I was so excited. <laughs> For Jackson Argos? <laughs> no, no. I was no, going to no, say. No, 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 no I'm excited. It's like um, uh, Jackson Argos is going to get an ass kicked by, ass kicked by the king. It's going to be <laughs> something to see. <laughs> In a casino. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Words you didn't think you'd be put piecing together in an actual coherent sentence, right? It's going to be good times. Yes. Good uh, luck, Canada. And it's, a, it's an all it's an all ages show, too. Just to, I know a lot of people ask about that, being in a casino. But it's all, all ages. Um, so. And an awesome venue, too. Uh, we, we did a, the first high stakes um, uh, uh, a couple months, I think in April before... Yeah. Uh, Night of the Superstars at Meadville and have Ryback and Steamboat there, uh, which was a great night for that. And they're usually, and I think the case is this time, like like everybody that gets a ticket gets an autograph with the king uh, or something to that extent. Yeah, something um, so, you know, the, the casino is really good about like doing that and taking care of the fans that do come in there too. Um, so it's a really cool experience. Yeah, and, it's from top to bottom. I mean, it, it's, it, it's even for the, the, you know, the wrestlers, it's, it's a totally different atmosphere and um, the vibe's totally different. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, so it's a fun night. Really good to see. Good reason to go to West Virginia, uh, especially if you're in the Pittsburgh area or anywhere within driving distance. It's going to be a fun show. Uh, a lot of good matches. And uh, beyond that, IWC has a, a great crop of talent, and, and uh, the matchups they have lined up for this are going to be really, really good. So. Mad Mike, you gone? Um, fortunately, I can't make the trip from New York. Motherfucker. It's just wheeling West Virginia. I mean, you're just in New York State. You know, uh, I, I have to throw toys at youngsters. Mm. Out of a white unmarked van? or? <laughs> I mean, with a giant giraffe on it. Hey, 
Mike doesn't have that wheel and feeling. <laughs> it's a whole different wheel and feeling. All right, it is time for the big question. And, of course, we do have Halloween coming up. We plan to do uh, something special here. There's at least going to be trick-or-treaters we'll be bothering here earlier in the night uh, during our recordings next week. But uh, there also will be a Halloween edition on Halloween of SmackDown Live. So you know they're going to have some sort of match that involves pumpkins probably that might get smashed on Cesaro's head, which is one of my favorite moments. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of uh, go around and kind of put what, what you just popped up in the back there. Did I? Are you, no, no, no. Larry in the back. Cesaro could dress as Count Chocula. Yes. With the lisp. Yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do just kind of a quick fantasy book of what, or at least a little, a little nugget of what you would like to see on the Halloween episode, because there are a lot of um, you know, characters that could come back, things they could do with it, and uh, I think I think Matt, you said you had something right off the bat. I've got a couple ideas. Um, I'm gonna throw them out real quick. Um, I would like to see uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn uh, dress up for Halloween as one another, complete with you know <laughs> all the mannerisms of their. Because I mean, I, they've known each other for about a minute, so they could probably. Um, they could probably do a pretty accurate imitation of one another. And uh, there should be a pumpkin carving competition uh, backstage. And um, I don't even know if he's on which roster he's on, but the ending should be after everyone has carved their pumpkins. And yay, you know, great job, everybody. Mark Henry comes in and he crushes every pumpkin with his bare hands because he's the world's strongest man. An impressive feat of strength. Yeah, I don't think he's officially on either show right now. I have now. no idea. He, he's, like, on, he's on Raw. Is he officially on Raw? He's on Raw. Yeah. Well, you know what? AJ Styles showed up on Raw last night. So, you know what? The talent exchange is underway. So, Mark Henry just pops up on SmackDown. Crushes right. pumpkins. That seems like away. a good reason. That, that's, yeah. that's the favor. That's the favor for that For that bit, I mean, it's worth a one-off. Forget this brand split. We need the, the, we need to see this man crush pumpkins with his bare hands. We, like, you know. we need brand unity on All Hallows' Eve. <laughs> there you go. The, the holidays bring the brands together, right? Right. They, especially... Halloween? Especially Halloween. Nothing brings families together like Halloween. <laughs> uh, Mike, do you have anything for this? Oh, yeah, I do, Sorg. Uh, okay, so I have, I have two different ideas. I'm going to go with the one that I think would be more creative, so, in other words, less likely. Um, I, lo- I love your pessimistic viewpoints on WWE booking in general. It's It's more realistic than anything else. Like, it's more creative, so it's harder to do, so they're not going to do it. But um, if you watch SmackDown tonight, you know that the Raw crew did not show up. Um, a lot of people were expecting Raw to show up and get a similar scene that we got to Smack the, the, um, at the end of Raw last night. What I want is for every backstage segment and some of the matches to be interrupted by lights going out and someone just taken away. Like, I, I, want, I want next week's SmackDown to be full-on horror movie (laughs) and i wanted to be demon balor destroying people in the darkness that's what i want like i I want balor there as a silent assassin sent from raw to take down specific smackdown talent pumpkin demon balor yeah demon balor pumpkin demon balor sure we need a boogeyman and papa shango to come back too with that throw them in the mix maybe uh pumpkin balor just yeah, finishes his foes off by putting jack o' lanterns on their heads. Ooh, and then they that could be fun too. My my other my other idea is to have a Halloween party and have everyone dress as a previous gimmick of theirs. <laughs> okay, that could be fun. Like like Jinder Mahal rolls in as a member of Three MB. Um, Sami Zayn dresses as El Generico, and no one knows what his costume is because it, because they all say it's too generic. Um, <laughs> Like there's a, there's a lot. Zack Ryder comes in with the half shorts, and he's you know just starts screaming woo 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 and everything. Like I I think everyone should dress as a former gimmick. So Kurt Hawkins needs to grow his hair out. So like Corbin and Being Mojo an should show up as professional football players. Yes, games. absolutely. Yeah. 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 I got I got yeah. one. Yeah. I got mine. It's just two hours of the ECW zombie 
<laughs> uh, re- wrestling. Or actually, it's just an hour of his entrance, and then the next hour. It's it's total Adult Swim chic, you know, where they, they pull the rug out from under you. It's just <laughs> two hours of ECW Zombie. That's it. I got a good one. I, we, they, it should just be an episode of Southpaw Wrestling. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Marshall, do you have one? How would you how would you book Halloween SmackDown? I don't know. I, I wanted to bring back the old uh, the old three tier cage from WCW. It's Not the, the one with David Arquette. Just for before. Just, just for, for that SmackDown. Night. Just for SmackDown. One night only. The, 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 the Hogan and, yeah, yeah. and Macho the Man Doomsday fight through cage. it. We were yeah, just talking Doomsday, about that yeah. too. I want to see that one night only. I don't even. I don't give a shit who you throw in it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> ECW zombie, get in there, buddy. I think yeah, we were suggesting level. that that should have been what they did. The uh, what they should have done. The Shield versus uh, the Miz Taraj, uh handicap yeah, match. Yeah, they yeah, should. Yeah. They were almost up to that kind of a mismatch uh, numbers wise. They should have done it in the doomsday cage. Hell yeah. And just have, you know, Dean and Seth just fight their way through, you know, the entire WCW uh, main event uh, roster. <laughs> you, you could have the SmackDown roster dress as the raw roster and have someone dress as viral <laughs> man. Jayus, just taking everyone down. <laughs> Actually, that's not the worst idea to like kind of, um, so fun, to tell, to to kind of goose the uh, the brand versus brand feud would be to have to have the SmackDown guys dressed as the Raw guys just make fun of them for the whole show. That could be pretty amusing, actually. Don't you think, Sorg? Right. Um, I'm <laughs> sorry. Somebody yeah, said, right, man. Over somebody, there. somebody said they heard music in the background, so I want to. I was just making sure everything was okay. Uh, but anyways, so guys, <laughs> let me know if that's still happening out there because. I don't know where it is. But anyways, um, from the chat room, uh, a, a, a D, a JD out there says, Aiden English has a fan of the opera with Rusev as Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the car? Yes. No, or Christine from, is that is that the girl from Fan of the Opera? I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not cultured. Rusev um, as Herbie, the love father. <laughs> <laughs> He's totally going to call Halloween Rusev, Dave too isn't he <laughs> daniel <laughs> everyone gets candy on rusev day yes <laughs> daniel bryan opens the door uh for trick-or-treaters and braun after uh after a delay slams the slams open the door mm-hmm. um alex wants carmella and james ellsworth to dress as pokemon and carmella as ash uh they could they could dress as charlie brown and snoopy they kind of could could uh really I don't know. He he was actually barking tonight. Like he's gone full on dog. <laughs> yeah, this, this whole like dog collar thing has gone in an interesting direction, hasn't it? He's got his own figure now, though. D- does he? Yeah, he got his action figure. Hear that. Or or here here's what we could do. Here's what we could do. We could we could turn James Ellsworth into a meme. We can have an entire war breakout between Raw and SmackDown, and James Ellsworth is sitting alone in the ring with all the carnage on the outside, sipping tea and just saying, "This is fine." Happy Halloween, everyone. <laughs> I mean, SmackDown just cuts off. <laughs> yeah, well, wait, wait, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking Thanksgiving that always has the food fight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What are we going to do? Smack no, Owen Owens, Owens should spend Thanksgiving trying to find the mystery pie man from the last food fight. Because if you remember, Owens, during the last food fight, hid under a table eating chips. And when the smoke cleared, he thought he was in the clear. Then someone who was holding the camera threw a pie at his face. Obviously holding the camera. Wheel says that Kevin Owens should be dressed like Eric Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so now that we've booked to Halloween. We'll see. We'll see how SmackDown does next week with it. Um, we didn't even get into well, a we, match. We, we, we have we have the hot matchup of. Rude versus Ziggler, two out of three falls. On Halloween? Spooky. Yeah. That Spooky. and Owens versus Nakamura. So I don't know if they're doing anything for Halloween. Oh, no. That's... So, of course, on Halloween will be the night that they don't have Dolph dress up like another wrestler, right? Of yeah. course, yeah. Unless uh, if Dolph wrestles the match as Bobby Rude, that'd be See, pretty See, I thought great. if we are going to do three falls... Dolph could go three faces of Foley, and he could, you know, do Mankind, and then, like, do whatever happens during that, and roll under the ring, come back out, and he's Cactus Jack. Or, or he, he could dress up as Dude, love three. for the final fall, of course. 
he could he could dress as three former Bobby Roode tag team partners. <laughs> <laughs> James Storm, Eric Young, and Kurt Angle. I don't know. Is, is this right? Tina saying uh, Nakamura and Owens is false count anywhere? Uh, I didn't hear that. Part. I didn't Maybe. catch that either. No, no, we kind of zoned out on SmackDown tonight. So I know they're having oh. a match next week. We don't have a yeah. match. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. We'll get confirmation on that. Oh, anyway, speaking of SmackDown Raw, we've alluded to it a little bit, but there was the under siege um, situation that happened on Raw last night. Um, so Survivor Series got interesting all of a sudden. Uh, you know, we're doing our usual uh, Raw versus SmackDown thing that we did, like usual, we did it last year, and we've done it at bragging rights before. Um, and uh, but it, but the, the Shane came in and went full full under siege mode. I thought was really interesting, and yeah. um, the the standoffs in the back, including uh, Ninja jumping uh, Seth Rollins, uh, <laughs> yeah. trying to get the jump on them. Um, and I didn't realize it, it was so. Apparently on social media, this was happening throughout the night. They were alluding to this. Uh, no, afterwards, a yeah. lot of them posted. Well, that videos. posted up. Okay, but there was a tweet under siege by Shane. Yeah. Beforehand. Yeah. Well, he and then in the interview he hashtagged under siege because he said it's going to be trending. And Kurt was like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> is that is that how you're going to play it? Smile, shake hands. Fun game. Um, Under Siege. That's, thanks clever. For a- That's clever, Shane. Thanks for AJ Styles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. basically. Okay. And Shane's like, I don't I don't forget. Uh, Xavier Woods tweeted out after Raw mm-hmm. of the, the gif of Angle suplexing Shane through the glass at King of the Ring and said, I think it was something along the line of Shane did not forget what she did to <laughs> oh, him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So in in the interview, you said, "Yeah, we have you know, I, I don't forget what you did, Kurt." So Xavier alluded to that. So maybe we get a Shane McMahon Kurt Angle match down the down the road. Mm-hmm. Well, it could happen here, or it could happen. You know, I wouldn't say Survivor Series, but you you don't think with all this, like, it's either it's either they're going to no, have I, a match, I, or I, I would think I, this I, is the on... first this is the first step to something like that. Okay, I, I wouldn't I, think. I'd rather have them have their own match than be part of the teams. I, I, I mean, you don't, you don't get their match I'd, yet. I'd rather it's, just have them have their own match. It's WrestleMania quality match. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're dropping those throughout the year at this point. Yeah, like they're not waiting for it. I mean, we we got you know Cena. <laughs> your hair is getting everywhere. <laughs> it's like it's like the hair version of stripper glitter, really. Yeah, it gets, you just find it everywhere. It doesn't make sense. You it's try the price to brush it away. We pay for greatness. It is. Or, it is in <laughs> vertical hair. Wow, we a lot for that stripper glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Find some outside too. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> that's not glitter, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez. Um, but anyways, no. And like I said, I, I saw. I imagine this is the same response. Chachi, the curmudgeon, curmudgeon of all pro wrestling, I was on Facebook, and I saw uh, you got my attention for SmackDown or uh, for Survivor Series. He says. Yeah. Uh, so if it's getting that attention, it was a and it was a really fun, interesting. Like I felt, kind of nexus level invasion. That got the attention. Night. I just hope they don't drop the ball. Yeah, right, but, we got a lot of time. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, There's see, four weeks. Like, <laughs> you can totally fuck it up. Yeah, like, tonight, <laughs> on SmackDown, tonight on SmackDown, they're all arguing with each other again. Right, 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 right. And, and they even alluded to the people that were not part of it. Like the Usos were not a part of it. Charlotte. Wasn't. Um, Charlotte was not a part of it. Uh, so so there was a little bit of kind of dissension there, and and and. That's going to be probably the next three I, weeks. Right? I like seeing all the champions face each other mm-hmm. at Survivor Series. I, I, like, cool. I like But those that. are non title, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's a, okay. like I said, it, it, I keep it's going a, back to it's it. It's bragging rights. It's bragging it's rights. Bragging yeah. rights. Yeah. It's a bragging rights show now. So, yeah. which, which, there's no, and maybe there's something where they add stakes to it, right? But no, but you know what the stakes should be? And I, I think, I think we've said this before. I think. The winner of the five on five match, or like the overall winner of Raw versus SmackDown for the entire night of Survivor Series, that brand gets to be the last match at WrestleMania. I think I think that's a cool idea. I think because otherwise it's just for bragging rights that no like all right, everyone here is a wrestling fan. 
do you guys care which brand has bragging rights? I don't. I, I, I don't really care because I like people on both brands. I hate people on both brands. Yeah. Like it does it doesn't mean anything to us about bragging rights. Now if it was for something cool like or like spots in the that rumble. Brand, it should that be for brand spots gets in the, the rumble. 30th entry into the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. And the loser like, has to go something first. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, and the loser has to go first. Something like that. That could be really cool. I mean, because then you don't have you don't have to weigh down WrestleMania in it. Mm -hmm. You can just put arbitrary spots in Royal Rumble like and then, hey, we know we know number one's gonna be a, a SmackDown guy or gonna be a Raw guy. Like that adds a different spin to the Rumble, I think. I think that I've heard that before too. Now it's actually what I was gonna suggest. That's like the perfect stipulation for this whole thing because it doesn't even affect. I mean, it doesn't affect whatever they're planning to do in the Rumble. It doesn't affect anything yeah. about that. Just because you it just winners. changes the order of one or two guys coming in. It's the perfect you know carrot to dangle. And it gives them just something to give it just a little bit of meaning. Yeah. It's perfect. Like, and, it, and then you're using Survivor Series to hype Rumble. It's just perfect. Yeah, you're hyping your own shows. Yeah. The road to the Royal Rumble begins at the Survivor Series. Yeah. You take the road to the Royal Rumble to get to the road to WrestleMania. So it's like you're at the interchange of the... WB is sometimes too much dot and not enough red. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Unless you run into construction <laughs> and then you've got to... Turn around and Marshall, you're gonna say something. I, I mean, just from last year, there was what was the payoff last year? Nothing. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's yeah. it was bragging rights. I like seeing them both sides like fight each other. I mean, mm -hmm. I can give a shit less about bragging rights or whatever they do. Um, <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to Brock Lesnar speaking the shit out of gender. Are, are you Paul Heyman? I mean, is, that, is, Paul that, Heyman is anyone sold here concerned that Ginger's going to beat Brock? Is there no. any am, inkling? <laughs> I'm not. a little worried. I'm well, I mean, not. I could see they do it if they do if they if they because roll something I, with this whole invasion thing they whoever, got going on. But you know, uh, Missy is saying that bragging like the bragging race show when they did this this concept had a little more weight to it um, because SmackDown was more clearly the lower brand. At the point, yeah, because it, it was because it wasn't live and it wasn't you know it was a different context and everything. I mean, and now in a lot of cases we do look at SmackDown as kind of the superior show. It's more, it's a more fun show. It's also not weighted down by four hours, including the cruiserweight show. So there's that too. Yeah. So, um, I really feel a little like Brock and Gender. I mean, they they got to do something. Like it's, yeah. I mean, that just don't even look right on paper. I, Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, it Paul, feels like it's I, way too soon for Ginger, if at I all, right? Feel, I if, feel like whoever Brock's next challenger is may help Ginger win. I think I th look at it the other way. I, I think maybe AJ might like get involved because AJ's Ginger's next right, opponent. Right. You know, I predict one or both of the Singh brothers will be launched into a geostationary oh, orbit. God, I <laughs> hope so. Yeah, that's what I... Um, they will I, be German I, I, suplex to Germany. <laughs> do, <laughs> Most do likely. Think, do you guys think that there's a chance that this Jinder Mahal Brock Lesnar thing is a ruse and AJ actually beats Jinder for the title before Survivor Series? No. no. Uh, I'm just saying. Not being four weeks if out. If that's the case, and we're backdoor setting up AJ Styles versus Brock Lesnar, sign me the fuck up. They're not going to do that. That would be a WrestleMania I, match. I don't know. I Brock's going to be, Brock's gonna be fighting Roman. Roman. Or Brock's going to be fighting Roman. Like, that, that, Brock I is fighting Roman at WrestleMania. Not. The only thing, I, I the really, only thing I care about happening at WrestleMania is Nakamura and AJ. That I, is the I thing. really do want to see Nakamura and AJ. Yeah, and it needs to be in front of like sixty, seventy, eighty thousand people. Because, but I, I want to see that as it was in New Japan, not WWE stuff. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Like, like, can we give them a half yeah, an hour, geez. please? You know, but but still, like I feel like I say, put Finn in and make a three way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I second that. <laughs> I second that. Jeez. See, I think you save Finn, and somewhere between now and Mania, you get him hooked back up with Gallows and Anderson, and you go straight for original club versus Shield. But you can't do that because you got to have him fight Brock. But well, you know, Kurt Angle is now an unofficial member of the Shield, <laughs> so we can do that. 
It's um, all good. Bold, bold prediction: the Shield will not last through the rest of 2017. It didn't last till to the yeah. weekend. No, we still haven't even seen a full reuniting of the Shield. No, no, not completely. Okay. But like, no, like just, one of them is going to turn before the end of 2017. No, I can like, see them adding be, somebody it's else. It's going to be WWE's always, Christmas present to us all. Man, I can't I, wait for Hornswoggle yeah. to become a new member of the Shield. Yeah. I always like the idea of the shield as it as its own entity, and then you you move people into the shield. Mm-hmm. Like the shield doesn't have like permanent members. You just there are always new hounds of justice. Mm-hmm. You know, like Ambrose and those guys go on, and then three guys from NXT pick up the mantle. They're the new hounds of justice. They're the new shield. I think, I think, are we the, the shield now? The, though the shield, no, the shield should be just you know. Well, until it was okay until Triple H and Steph bought them, and then they were like bodyguards. Mm-hmm. But before that, they were just whatever they felt was wrong, or if someone was being wrong, they would just show up mm-hmm. to fix things, and then just disappear. Producer Messi has been concerned about something throughout the week, and and she stated to me several times, including a text right now, since she doesn't have a mic over there. She's still trying to figure out how the Roman, how Roman fits into this Bray and Jojo meningitis like circle thing. <laughs> it is weird, isn't it? I. <laughs> uh, well, no. All right, Missy. Because I thought about it too, and I'm like, I don't I, know. Roman's been touching a lot of other people, and they still I, seem to be on the show. I figured this out. Um, Jojo is actually a time displaced version of the little girl Roman was playing dolls with in that WWE commercial. Ew, gross. So, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, somebody somebody I'm check the house show results. See if they were wrestling on the house show. I'm, I'm trying to make it fun as opposed to someone just sneezed on him. But I'm tr- Yeah, it's it's nice sneezed, yeah, definitely. Definitely sneezed, yeah. Yeah, definitely no, like, a sneeze. No, because Roman probably wrestled Bray at some house show. Hear that, or Roman wrestled the Miserage because Bo got it too. So Roman probably got it from Bo. Well, I mean, Bo is definitely patient zero, right, in this whole How'd thing. How'd Bo get it? Um, Dirty bitches. He, he believes he could. Right. That monkey? Bo knows. The road is dangerous, man. That's what I hear. <laughs> I, I mean, Sonic hashtag, hashtag Sonic Club. Get, There's rats everywhere. <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> Ebola? Nothing? Nothing? No, nothing, no nothing. I don't think most of us caught that. Right, that's, no. that's, I, I said at least at least he didn't get Ebola. Got it. That's funny. Yeah, that's yeah I know. Sorry you had to restate. They just got to make sure they take their pills. They'll be good. Mm-hmm. They'll be fine. What, They'll what, be fine. What is the, like, how, do we know how long they might be out? For it like, depends like this? what they have. We don't even really know exactly what right. they have. If they, they do have meningitis, it's I think it's like a seven day. Seven days a week. So they could be back next week for Raw. Under, so, under care. But I, saw they could I thought be I read somewhere that... Really bad, you know. I thought, I thought I read somewhere that uh, Bray wasn't coming back until after Survivor Series. <laughs> That's probably just a good move for Bray in general. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably just a good move for him. He's got that divorce. But at least he's we found out what can defeat Sister yeah, Abigail. He's... A virus. A virus. Just like an Independence Day. Google says seven to ten days. How you doing? How, how you doing, Google? <laughs> Doctor Google. Well, what does Bing say? <laughs> Doctor Google. I? No. You know. No. What? I I I'm well researched. Have you had it? No. You've had the. <laughs> okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all his shots. Maybe he has I am off the date and vaccinated. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Maybe maybe. Something about viral meningitis. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what'd you learn? <laughs> um, I I learned that WWE can't. WWE likes to waste their own surprises <laughs> because we could have just put Matt Hardy in the main event of TLC, and everything would have been fine, and everyone would have loved it, and you could have saved Kurt's return to the ring for Survivor Series and actually built it. But no, they just freaked out and scrambled, and yeah, they ruined their own surprises. What the fuck are you doing, That's what I learned. Sorg? You're taking a He's picture? taking a picture, so I'm trying to stall, Everybody. because uh, Sorg is controlling the switch. Phil, Phil, yeah, Phil, 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 Phil. What do you, Phil, what do you think, Phil. Matt? Um, well, I learned you know, interesting thing about... Um, being an older competitor in the 
WWE. If you're, you know, a female like Mickey James, you have to hear about it nonstop about how you're almost 40 years old. But if you're, you're no, I don't know, milk. like almost 50, like Kane, uh, you know, you, you squash Finn Balor and you get pulled over everybody. So I mean, it's good. You know, hey, hey, you don't age. In, you don't age in hell. <laughs> you don't age behind a mask either. Yeah. Mickey James is still a milk. Uh, yeah, Just Mickey. James. I saying. don't want anyone over 45 <laughs> in the ring. I don't doing? want it. Kurt, Kane, get the fuck out. There goes Mad Mike and if you have a problem with Mad Mike's ageism, you can hit him up at Mad Mike is an <laughs> asshole at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Yes, that is a working email address. So, wow. yeah, oh yes. yes he has one. How old 40. is he? He's 40. He just hit 40. 40. Yeah. Oh, just right. like John Cena. How old? See? Bobby oh, Roode's around 40. Is Shane McMahon. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. He's like 40. Uh, I don't want Shane 47. in the ring either. 47. Okay. I don't want Shane in the ring either. Nope. 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 Your campaign yeah. to, I don't know. To make WWE better. Sorry. That's it. I'm going to work on a PowerPoint. Make so WWE that... younger again, right? Youth movement. How, yes. how old is Oscar? Oscar's definitely up there, right? She's maybe like mid thirties, no, right? She's been in the game for a while, right? Is Look it up. Young. No, 30, stop five. it. 34, 35. 34, 35. She's mid thirties. Yes, she is. Thirty six. Thirty six. Boom. Wow. Wow. So you want to complain yeah. about Mickey's age, but then Oscar is whooping ass. Uh, I've never once complained about Mickey's age. She survived a train. Well, crash. no, I'm saying in the storyline, <laughs> you want to complain. You want to, you know, poke at. At she survived those pictures on the age. internet of herself too, and call Mickey old. Then Oscar's Mickey's thirty eight, and Oscar's yeah. undefeated at uh, thirty eight. That's the new twenty. We're all just going to agree. Mickey James is great, right? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Just, just yep. flatly, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 She survived a train crash. No, she she's doing very. Off, she was pushed off an elevated train platform, but she's, yes, she survived. And look at what she's doing now after that accident. I know she's back. She's <laughs> walking. I, I, most people. She's doing. She, she can kid. wrestle she's, an eight inch heel most sword. Most people, if they get hit by the Hogwarts Express, they <laughs> go to St. Mungo's, but not Mickey James. She no. leaves Florida and goes to WWE. Mm-hmm. I had this thought. I had this thought during the Mickey James thing that I think I shared. I either shared it with the people at the pay per view or I shared it with my wife. But I, I feel like Magnus is like the home wife now. Oh yeah, he <laughs> you has see him in the kitchen with an apron. Oh, yeah. well, well, like... Wrestling isn't even a thing anymore. So yeah, yeah. Oh, so my... so yeah. yeah. Somebody's got to make that money, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Mickey. Although if Mickey's you watch it. the Global Force, they TV, tag in and out. Magnus his... is still on the wrestling Bobby Roode, so oh, it's you... all fine. <laughs> Get that all. Hey, they don't have no more. They don't have no money. No, not, any, not anymore. So, uh, didn't they didn't get bought? Um, and there's a there's a nice impact sticker over the world title. Apparently, <laughs> Did you see this oh, picture. God, of no, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Sorg, Splitsville again. Sorg, are we gonna have to watch that again for midweek four? <laughs> no, no, I'm not okay, gonna do good. that to you. No, okay, no, no, no. Thank, no. We'll thank still... you. Because I I read reviews of it. Yeah, we still good. plan. Good fuck. What has happened to that show? <laughs> they have to establish these. They have to establish at least six consecutive months of brand continuity with their program <laughs> like, before we pay like any more attention. Apparently, to Bobby Lashley's MMA team is a heel stable on Impact. Yeah. Well. What? Like I'm don't, glad don't. I got out when I did. Hey, this is, this is like, it's wrestling. Like, independent it's wrestling. Like, get, get out of that abusive, <laughs> get out of your abusive relationship with your wrestling promotion. Mike. It's like leaving yeah. a relationship and then finding out immediately your ex went to do coke. Yeah, you got out of the like relationship, of but you coke. just but you keep checking their social media to see what they're up to, don't <laughs> That's you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or, a, or even more so, other people keep tagging you with what they're doing on social yeah. media. It's kind of, it, it, you know, thanks to our, our, our. I still have people asking me if I'm watching Impact. I'm like, no, I'm bettering my life. <laughs> no, I'm making positive decisions. I was telling yes. Mad Mike stop watching TNA like ten years ago. <laughs> It's on the show. You can probably go find old episodes. And you, can, you should probably stop I remember watching. like over you the last few years. You should stop watching years, Impact. Even over the last few years, there'd be points in time where they'd transition to another network. I'm like, hey, Mike, this is a good place for you to get out. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm just going to see this through another you know, another What's, six months. We're going to see what happens. I got to order Mike, this, this, is a good this place to get off. channel. Yeah, they're, they they're, have. they're moving to Destination <laughs> America. Know, Mike, this is a good place to get off right here. Just get off right here. No, 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 no. I got to see this. moving to networks <laughs> I had, Matt. That is not my fault. If it was like Sinclair and their ROH, I would have never had to watch them again. You don't get that up there, do you? No, thank God. There's the, well, there's the, there's the internet. 
Fight TV, baby. No, no, <laughs> I'm not supporting Sinclair. Uh, I'm not supporting them. Fight, uh, maybe. Yeah. Nope, nope. No, I'm not, I'm, no, no. I'm not supporting them, no. no. Uh, you need to see some of the other things they do. I'm not supporting them. What, Ring of hashtag, Honor? Hashtag PMS. Wait, what? Sinclair. Sinclair Broadcasting. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. By the way, check us that. out on the 405 media. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there's our loop in right there. There's the plug. There's the oh, plug. geez, who did yeah. who do we not touch on? Marshall, what did, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Have I asked you yet? <laughs> no, I, I mean, <laughs> we learned what we all thought about when the network started that we were going to lose high caliber matches. Their pay per views are going to get treated like a house show, mm-hmm. and that's what's happened. I mean, there just seemed like I get it. It's a big machine, right? But it's just it seems to me it's like no different than watching it you know on cable tv i mean it's mm-hmm. just there's to me outside of like wrestlemania and like a royal rumble just another <sighs> raw. yeah man <laughs> there's no mm-hmm. i could give i could care less it's like, just, it's just less commercials and it's like a Sarah nice main event hey listen sometimes some of them shows you you wait for the commercials mm. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> this is true mm-hmm. this is true who else is gone who hasn't gone Really? I, I, you haven't? You know what I learned. <laughs> yeah, he, he learned. <laughs> the oh big E God. is back. <laughs> uh-huh. Get on the get on the Zo train. <laughs> well, I, I think I already uh, I learned that uh, somebody has recently watched Ninja Turtles movie, and ooh, what if Braun Strowman just turns into Kevin Nash at the end? Oh no! no Black hair, sword, gray hair. I just said I didn't want people over diesel. forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes back. As Kevin Nash is over fifty at this. point. I don't know. We already had like like Braun and Kane kind of stare off. We just need like eh, maybe Nash will show. Does that do off anything maybe. for you though? Those what? two like no going toe to toe. If oh, neither no. of them are in the Survivor Series tag match, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing? Yeah. I I'm always glad to see Kane being. Existing. existing yeah like still again at his age and still at his size and age could still have outwork half the roster you know yeah. that's impressive to me um yeah but sorg you know who he can't outwork finn fucking balor who he pinned so we'll see what i hope that turns into the halloween episode next next week when yeah. we get demon i do like king Ron, versus demon like, kane this i i don't like I don't know about Braun and Kane. Yeah. It's just, it, it just, uh, now, Braun and Brock. Yeah, sure. Let's do that again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. To well, me, after you've seen. Kane versus Demon Kane, Michael Cole may actually go and get a Tourette's fit. Because he won't be able to say both of those back to back. To me, yeah. after you've seen Braun and Brock go out, it, it's like. Mm, we, we, we can't throw more monsters at the situation, right? Yeah. You think they're reacting to like? I mean, everyone got so excited for the uh, for that four way at SummerSlam. You know, we were yeah. making jokes of four pieces of ham. Do you think they kind of saw that and they're like, "We got to get as many of our you know big hosses as we can up to speed here because people want the super heavyweights again." So who we got? Um, uh, Kane. Yeah, yeah. You're big. You get in there. Okay, you I mean, you, I mean, they don't have a lot tour. of other. I'm amazed we didn't get Big Show again. Size, yeah. I, you know? I think he's, this was all big actually supposed to be Samoa be Joe, and he's not cleared. I, I think it was. I think it was supposed to be Samoa Joe, and he's not cleared. Yeah. If all of this Kane stuff was actually Samoa Joe instead, I'd be totally on board. Yeah, okay, right. He might not be cleared to wrestle. And Can you give way, me Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles, please? Yes. Please. Absolutely. And that's another good option for Mania. <laughs> Please. By the way, uh, thank you to uh, our already email to Mad Mike is an ass at <laughs> wrestlingmayhemshow dot com by somebody in this room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got, uh, how you doing? Yeah. yeah. How um, are you? Did doing? I miss any? Did I miss any learns in the uh, in the chat room, Missy? Learns. Any of them learns? Learns. Learns from. Uh, Tina just agrees with me. Oh, that's, no it. That's, that's it. That's it. That's um, it. Anyways, hey, tr- hey, our truth is forty-five. Just throwing that out there for you, Mike. Yes, and our truth should not be on TV uh, either. What hey, about he's gold not dust? on TV, so there you go. Yeah, you your wish. <laughs> what about your gold dust? Gold dust. Uh, he has to be over forty. Gold dust time is coming gone. 
Oh, 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 you better not let that word get back to him. Oh, no. Uh oh. He'll tag come. him. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Time so to do, tag Goldust. Do not tweet Goldust again, please. Tagging of Goldust. <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad for the for last time hey, we tagged you know him. What? Goldust, is he this your final run? run? He's putting no. over young talent <laughs> like he should. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> All right. Marshall Gambino. Thank you so much for joining us on this craziness. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> that is, again, <laughs> the High the Stakes Championship. He'll be in the matches for that. Uh, I understand it's going to be a mini tournament situation of some sort. <laughs> Whatever that's going to be. It'll be some sort of stipulation. It'll be a stipulation, that's for sure. Uh, A.K.A. a clusterfuck. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm hoping for coal miner's glove. <laughs> what? <laughs> coal miner's go. glove. There you go. It'd be appropriate for West Virginia. Well, Come on, go. coal miner's glove. <laughs> there it is. We're going to bring coal miner's glove matches back to the people. Let Make wrestling great again. Uh, <laughs> you can steal all these ideas. Make sure I'm, up, right. Dude, I'm <laughs> writing them all down. After, after somebody wins it, make sure they double down and defend it right after that in another match. <laughs> let it ride. Would you like to let it ride to the next event, or do you want to double down tonight? Uh, I swear if I see that on the run sheet on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. It'll be great. Be great. It'll be great. I mean, is it, uh, double down and you don't they, have to defend it for can another Can they cash oh, it man, in? That'd be for... great if you like agree to agree to defend it right away. You get like a you get to like double your um time where you, between title defenses that your yeah. mandatory title defense. I always you don't have to doubles. defend it at no, the no, next. No, no. Now you don't have to defend no, it for no, no, sixty no. One days. Of those <laughs> blackjack table girls comes out with just like a a, a, a bucket of a chips for you. So yeah, you're talking about the, the lady with the cigarettes I mean. and the <laughs> yeah, and the, yeah yeah yeah. I think I better yet, you right. win it than you take it and you gamble it out of the table. <laughs> you yeah, lose the damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Marshall Gambino was the high six champion, but then he mm, lost awesome. it on, a, on on Russian roulette. That's it. So we gotta have a new tournament. On Russian roulette. <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> damn, Sork. <laughs> he he really put it. that belt they on. It, they keep it real out I there, lost, Willing Island. I lost the belt, my pants all in one night. Russian roulette. Jesus, God. He oh, forgot goodness. to split his aces at the blackjack That's table, it. and he was a four-on-one beatdown. He took the title. <laughs> oh, Pit boss is champion me. now. <laughs> Can we... yeah, he's running around. <laughs> House always wins, Sword. You know that. <laughs> House always wins. Oh, That's man. It. Can we please film promos out on the floor of the casino? I'm, like, I'm pretty sure there's not a lot of cameras out there, but still. <laughs> oh, boy, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Marshall Gambino, where are you? Where, where can people find you online? Oh, uh, you got tweeters and stuff. I do. Uh, what is my Twitter? Marshall Gambino. Yeah, Marshall Gambino. I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't follow. Or look me up at Facebook, Marshall Gambino. I'm up there. I'm all, it's all good. I give, I give my personal phone number, but I'm in the room with a bunch of weirdos. So. If you uh, follow Corey Futuristic, you just get gifts of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He just posts it like every other day. Like, look oh, at this. Man. I'm like, oh, it's. That That's felt nice. amazing. Too. I don't know. Did you did you catch me <laughs> save that guy's life before you guys did that? <laughs> you know what? You know the, the worst part about that whole thing was is like he he said he was okay, but like I I basically gave it a big elbow. I went elbow first to that table, and man, it was elbow through wood. Not fun. I mean, but it didn't feel that great. It was, it was a pretty pretty spectacular. Anytime I get a chance to throw Corey through something, it looks if beautiful. I have to go with him, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> it looks beautiful. It's a it's a wonderful gift. Yes, it is, mm -hmm. and that's of course a uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, lockdown R Rumble Valley Royal Valley. No Rumble Valley. No Rural Royal Valley, Valley Rumble Rumble. Lockdown match. <laughs> it gets tough this late at night. Hey, you know. But, uh, go check them out. And, uh, uh, check out IWC this weekend. Hey, I just wanted to thank you, man, because, you know, you guys got a very good angle of that. You know, mm -hmm. A lot of times when my masters are filming, miss everything. But We've had some bad ones. I'm sorry. Sword was right on that. <laughs> I fucked up a couple of your big matches. That's all right. Don't worry. Uh, maybe you don't have commentary on your big cage match in the middle of a the parking lot in West Virginia. Hey, hey you know <laughs> what? It could be worse. You could let the Art Institute students come in and tape a <sighs> tape a match of yours, and totally just the whole thing's fucked up, unwatchable. Fucking Art Institute kids. Just saying. It's all their fancy camera angles. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Bastards. There might be three graduates in the room. 
I'm just talking about that night. I was I was you weren't a part of that. I was no. in the crowd. You were in the night. crowd with me. Uh, I know. I was in the crowd that was uh, 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 I was not. I don't know. Larry might have still been going, but he was not on video. <laughs> <laughs> the video wasn't bad it was the no. audio i mean yeah, yeah. like you just like i'm getting ready i sit down I'm like i'm gonna watch this watch it back Ooh. wait a minute there's nothing there. i mean it's just it was terrible uh, mm-hmm. my five-year-old could have did better mm-hmm. well you can find out that over on indie wrestling.us <laughs> there you go so <laughs> it was call to arms something 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 yeah it's a hundred i just wore the hundred show uh shirt the other day still have that hanging around awesome. what year was it i don't know 2008, maybe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Chad the Enzo is normally <laughs> Chad the Shad on all the social medias. Mm-hmm. Doing, we just need to make more gifts of that. Yep, I'll going. come over one. Do you after ever come now. to the shows anymore? Uh, I was at the last show. He, yeah, he worked the last. Indie, he was hard cam last show. And was at Super Indy 16. Yep. Oh. He's he's on the I'm, team I'm, now. Yeah, I'm usually. And he wears that hair now. This guy's. Whipping me. Oh, That's yeah. right. It's like, hey, hey yes, a master. I got shit to do. Go film something. <laughs> he's hiring everybody, though. He's big yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Peter Gabriel over here. What? Big time. I'm a sledgehammer? No, big time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mainstream Matt is going to work One, soon. Two. See see his. Hey, work. everybody. Don't miss 60 Minutes on Sunday <laughs> and make sure to <laughs> tune into KDK TV. All November long, if you because we've have, got kids to feed. If you have a problem with the uh, the morning broadcast on KDKA TV, no, make sure <laughs> there's no problem. No problem. With our morning. If you problems. have any concerns or compliments, no, it's yeah. the nightly sports at call. Mainstream Matt. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that was a problem. If you we promise to watch that. KDKA TV all month long in November, I will absolve you from having to watch the nightly sports call on the CW chat. That's okay. my gift to you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> donate to the KD Turkey Fund. Too. Definitely, yeah. Do donate it. to the KD Turkey right. Fund. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. And yes. Ken Rice's eyebrows. <laughs> Mutilator Larry uh, hangs out at my desk here during the show, and uh, his people handle his, his uh, Mutilator Larry Twitter account as well. He also sometimes is behind the booth, uh, the DVD booth at some of the shows. Uh, you can say hi to him. Um, we, we just we just bring everybody out these days to the wrestling shows. Mm-hmm. And, of course, SogatronMedia.com. Um We'll see you guys next time. Next week, 10 p.m. Eastern time. It is the holiday Halloween special. Uh, Live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Who knows what's going to happen? We don't ooh, yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. I don't know. The dress-up part's already taken care of. So. Maybe somebody else will wear it. There you go. But we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem Show out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.